The HTC One. We're doing some new stuff on the camera, actually by by going a bit backwards and saying we don't want to increase the megapixel just for having more megapixel. This sensor is as big as a normal 8 megapixel or 30 megapixel sensor, 1 to 3 inch, but it actually produces picture in 4 megapixel, which is good enough for a large 7 to 8, as uh, 8 to 10 printout. But with the 4 megapixel on this uh, on this sensor size, we can increase the size of each pixel. That's why we call refer to it as the ultra pixel. One of those ultra pixel is two micron big. That means two micron uh, to the power of two, that means four, uh, four uh, square microns, which is about, about three and a half times the size of the pixel you would get into in a 13 megapixel camera. So more light on each pixel, but also much less noise because those really small pixels add a lot of noise to, uh, to the picture, but not necessarily details. If I go into the user interface, on the first side you will see it looks pretty famili familiar, like the other uh, members of the HSC one family, um, with a shutter and a video shutter. But this little button here is special because that switches on Zoe. Zoe, the Greek word for life, means I'm shooting a three-second super burst of full quality pictures. So if I now press the shutter, you can see it goes up there, and this is the three-second picture that I shot. If I if I go in there, I can move uh, to this, the perfect moment that I wanted to have. It starts shooting here. This is where I press the shutter, and by, by moving this around, I can adjust it to the perfect moment that I wanted to catch. But it also enables me to do a lot of nice uh, post-processing, like creating sequence shots by like removing objects. So the focus is both on true quality, not fake megapixel, but real megapixel, and really fun stuff you can do with the camera because of revolutionary new software there. Yeah, so the ultra pixel camera with HTC Zoe. Tell me about the interface part of it, where you can actually, like the stuff that moves in the interface. And So, because I'm shooting little videos, I have also a much more interesting gallery, because the gallery now even shows that something is moving. It's a bit like Harry Potter newspaper. Um, everything is in movement, everything is alive, related to Zoe. Uh, and it even will take a bunch of pictures that I took at the same time, and automatically create a little video out of it. So I didn't do anything of that. That is real time generated by the phone. So it's, it's, it's uh, cutting, uh, it's addressing the music, it's actually um, making the music cut uh, the exact moment where you will change something in the picture. And there are six predefined themes with different moods that I can apply. So all I have to do is change another theme, which has different music, different cutting effects, different transitions, as you can see, this music and this, um, this cutting sequence is then aligned to each other. Uh, we worked with some video clip artists that actually helped create those templates. Or I can, this was like the happy romantic one, and I can make even very artistic uh, black and white, which then totally changes the mood of it. And I don't have to be an artist, I don't have to be a director, but I can pretend to be one because Zoe does all the heavy lifting for me. And then when I'm really happy with the shot, I can go and save it. Uh, so it will turn it then to, into an impact that I can easily share on Facebook or other, any other uh, social media. So this is the Zoe Gallery of the new HTC One. Yeah.